Ladies and gentlemen, this is a review of a CPV already been broadcast via YouTube or Twitch. I highly recommend you watch the CPV before watching this video due to the fact that it will contain spoilers of the event if you haven't seen it already. Also, the video contains the opinions of other people which may contrast to your own. But enough of me babbling. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Cross and I am joined by CVK and, that <coughs> and Define. Hi! We are going to be doing NGC Resurgence Review. As you, I will link everyone's channel in the description down below. I will, I will also link NGC Resurgence down below in the video and everything that we're going to be reviewing. So, first up is going to be the pre-show. There were two matches on the on the pre-show. It was Travis Jones and is it Des Holly? Des Holly. Yeah, and Vibby and Dom King. The winners of those were Holly won his match against Travis Jones and was it Vibby? Probably I like that. Uh, the ones that people always suck his dick. What? <laughs> Right, uh, those matches were okay. I think it was more of a filler yeah. for people waiting for the stream. Yeah, yeah. they testing out the stream, that's why. So. And uh, overall, I'm going to give the pre-show in general a 3. It was alright. It wasn't great. And it was one of those kind of things, okay, who won? Okay, who won? Okay, that's what I did. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. What's your ratings? Uh, CVK, you can go first. Alright. All pre show, I had a good assignment. I think it's a three. Not really the best looking thing. I feel like it's just to fill up and just have people be patient with the whole pay per view stuff. So. Uh, pretty much you guys said a three, but it, it was kind of like one of those pre shows that like you already knew who was going to win. Like, no one bet money on Travis Jones, and obviously no one bet money on Dominic King. We knew Vibby and Des Hartley were going to win. You see, I like Travis Jones, uh, um, but the uh, it's kind of it's, it's the kind of the way they're going to use him. I don't know how what's going on from there. Is he going to be used like that? Yeah, I, I would guess, actually. He deserves a push. He does. Hashtag, Hashtag, Hashtag push. push. TJ. That's that's my my opinion, but but yeah, three's all right for the pre-show. It was an all right pre-show, just to keep everyone ready for the actual stream. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go on to the first match of the card of actual resurgent, which was Aaron Matthews versus Kevin the Kid with Vernon Price as the referee. The winner was Kevin the Kid. I called this. If you. <laughs> <laughs> I called this. I said he was gonna come out the sneaky victory. He did. That's that's true. He did, he did it wrong. My thoughts. My thoughts on that. It was it was good. It was well worked. Mm -hmm. Just it was a special referee match between two rivals and another person. It it does what it says on the tin really. From start to finish, it was good. It was well worked. There was nothing really wrong with it. But I'd I give it a 2.5 due to the fact that it's just a warm up sh part of the show. The end was good. The end was Vernon Price decimating everyone else. <laughs> you asshole! Like. Don't destroy me, please. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole, the whole way of that was good. It was well worked. It was well thought out. So, Supercar, what's your rating? Wow, you really gave it a 2.5. I give it a 2.5. Shit, um... Picky much? <laughs> uh... Crap, uh... Was it the best match? It was, it was okay. I'd say... A 2.95. A <laughs> 2.95? <laughs> what? It's the worst. That's uh, that's possibly the the worst way you can see it. Because I've got to edit this, and I've got to know now. It's two point nine five. Two point nine five. Fine. Um, I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah. I'll give yeah. it like a three point two ish. Okay. Why? Uh, 
because the match was good. The way how it ended, I love the way how it ended. Teddy K got a roll up very smart by to do it that way. The only thing I didn't like is how Burnham Price became the special guest referee. I thought it would have made more sense if it was like someone who's who's like friends of both of them. And like had like a little rivalry between that or something, but I think the way how Verdon Price was the referee was weird. But they're probably gonna build that to something else, so we'll just have to wait. And I love the way how he just knocked out KDK and blind man eyed freaking Aaron Matthews. Brian's gonna come uh, after you. I'm sorry, Defiant. Yeah, I'm gonna get murdered by Vernon. <laughs> I think the way they they put that forward is Vernon Price. Who did he lose to? K to K, wasn't it? The no, I see Arthur, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah he got that one up. Uh, Aaron Matthews. And then okay. he was involved in the Aaron Matthews K to K thing. I think that's why. Oh. I like the story leading up to it. Just. Yeah. Yep. It was a good warm up match. Yeah, it was a good warm up match, actually. It got the. CPV off. I thought they built off to they, yeah. They they did build the rivalry between Katie Carey and Aaron Matthews good, so I thought right. it was I was I was just confused about Vernon Price, like I don't know if I'm yeah. like okay, it's it's the next one. <laughs> yeah, like seriously. The next, the next match <laughs> is the Mercury Championship versus Chris Grant and Shane Brilliant. Silver. The winner of that was Shane Silver. Now let me just say, oh. I just, I'm sorry for cutting you off there, Simon, but still. That's alright. This, everyone said on the stream, match of the night. It was really good. You seen, you know, you seen Grant throwing punches, you seen Silver throwing kicks, including that freaky sexy ass Assassin's Creed attire. Oh. Oh god, that attire. Oh yeah, but hey. Yeah, Vernon talked. Vernon took it the wrong way with the fine set on the chat. <laughs> I said Shane Creed, and I meant that because the Assassin's Creed attire, for those who did not understand. He's got the nice. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was in at the stream, I watched it after that. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to give this match a 4.5 out of 5. Oh my god, you... No, oh. due, no, due to the fact... See? Due to the fact... I'm not giving it a 5, due to the fact that... <sighs> now, it's hard to say why, why I'm giving it a 4.5. Oh. Oh, quick note, our predictions were right. Shane Silver did win. Yeah, but, well done to Shane Silver. I'm sorry, Grant, that I didn't pick you. It's just, you know... <laughs> the fact is, I, I like that match, but in places... It kind of went a bit... I know it was build up and all that, but it kind of went a bit slow. And then they kept picking up a little bit. Yeah. And then it, it kind of went up and down, up and down, up and down. I guess that... I think I'll give it a, a, a 4 or a 4.5, I'm giving it. Shit. Uh, damn it. What am I rate this? I'd say... At least a 5. Like, I like uh, everything that was going on. They had, like... That little connection when they was trying to do their little sim matches and stuff. It was good. It was one of the best matches on the card. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Divine. Uh, I, like what CBK said, a five. These two obviously have chemistry. Look at any Chris Grant video, you'll know it. I loved how it was kicks versus punches, like what CBK said. Yeah. Um. It was a good match too. Like I, there was nothing really. There was something I wanted to have, but I can't remember it now. But it was a good match, like what Simon said. It went up and down, up and down, like a roller coaster ride. Um, I, but I still think the match was actually good. There was something I wanted to say. It was the end, and I cannot remember now. So that yeah. end was amazing. He did that yeah. little ups to the chest, that yeah, so, and then that hacked kick. Like you think I didn't notice that? Yeah. The Her, silver rush. Yeah, silver rush. Oh, also very good match too. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, the next match is the International Championship match between Devlin Shaw... No, Devlin Shawfire, Storm Giovanni. It's Devlin Shawfire. Devon. Is it Devon? Yeah, it's Devon, not Devlin. Okay. Well, I've got it on my thing that it's got exactly. Devlin, but then my, my spelling is terrible. Uh, the winner of that was Canadi the Canadian Shawfire. <coughs> me and CVK were both wrong. Obviously. We 
You watched from no, no, no. Do you know what I got bad? The Fines guy pinned my guy in one, and I was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my guy kicked him in the face. <laughs> so, oh, he, my no. guy won. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm gonna give this. It's hard to call because it was. I know it's a fight or four way. I totally understand that, but in places it was. Long. It looked messy, you know and I mean? then like it kind of looked good for some people that done stuff. Hmm. It's hard to... it, it went. I, I think it went a bit too long yeah. for my liking. It was it was back and forth, back and it was back and forth. It was a really good match, but when you're watching, it, it's like okay, when is the? I'm trying to find an ending out of this. The ending was good, but I'm still trying to find an ending. Oh. Surprise win from Shortfire. Yeah, but I think I'm giving it. I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5 because it was long and that was my only critic of it. Supercar? Yeah, um, I think I have to agree with you with 3.5. It was good, but then, yeah, if you're trying to simulate with four other people and it's a fatal four way, it is really yeah. hard and it, it involves just planning spots and that's it. You can't, I don't know how you can sim with that. Unless you did something with it with the storyline and whatnot. But. Yeah. The, sorry, before before you, you give your right fun, the build up to it was really, really good, yeah. really unique. Oh yeah, the the way they how they set it up was great. Yeah, but so, Devon, what was your rating of the match? Uh, my rating was a three. Um, just from what Simon said, I'm gonna give it a three point like ten, maybe. Um, reason three is point ten. What? <laughs> I don't know. That's a four. Oh, uh, okay, so three point <laughs> nine then. Because what Simon said, the building of it was really good, but it's not about the building, it's more about the match right now. The match, the ending, I thought that Surefire, no, look, CBK even said this from right, he said that Surefire should have did like a finisher instead of throwing Robin to the corner. Yeah. Which was more cooler because Devin's a heel. Um, exactly. Uh, the, there was botches, but you can't really blame them, it's a fatal four-way. Um, for Fatal 4 Way simulation, what I normally see is that like two guys just go out it, like just go to different sides of the ring and fight. But this was like all out brawl type thing, so I thought that was cool. They really did use the environment, and also why I'm giving it mostly a three is because of the damn commercial break in the middle of the match. I it think that was because the match was longer than expected, so they had to cut it with something. Well, they really did. I, I know it's just that. Don't do a commercial break in the middle of a pay-per-view. I'm sorry, I just can't get over that. But it, but mine is it, the commercial. The commercial break. What's it here? It brings the realism and like what you yeah. see in TV. So I guess they did that, and the fact that it was too long. So yeah, that's true too. But you know, like they should just like show like either the fans or like commentators or something just the commercial break was like random i was like the match over like it was weird so uh, otherwise the match was good just those few little things all right let's get on to the next thing before we go into that handicap match there was was it a debut with nine or was it just another match with nine it, it was uh, i think it was a debut I, I think it was the debut in my well, it lasted five seconds, yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to give any ratings of that, uh, because it wasn't long enough. I give it a five, because that's the idea. I give it a five, because us. mine just wins. <sighs> and that's just fun. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to have my rating as an NA, due to the fact that it was not... It was a, it does, it was a squash match, so... I, I was going to but not forget, Stigma did his promo. I know, I was like, yeah, that's, that promo wasn't bad though. It, it was, plus, I, on my predictions, I called yes. but, uh, Nine and Stigma to be on that, on the show. <laughs> so props to me. Yep. And <laughs> Stigma, yeah, the, the promo was well set up until you said something about being a janitor, which it, threw a lot of people off. It's true though. Yeah, cleaning out the trash in NGC. <laughs> It makes yeah, but, sense. Yeah, but then janitor is not the best word to describe. Yeah. Okay. He, 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 so overall, he is good with promos. But he is a promo. Just janitor. Right. Uh, the pre man event was Lost Courses versus Cameron Bash. I'm giving this match a four. I'll go. You are so. The winners. The winners 
I know I'm so picky, but I'll tell you the reason why in a minute. <laughs> Winners were lost causes, me and ZVK called it Oh, right. yeah, this was obvious. But then, here's one thing I was shocked about. I really thought this match was going to be lost causes, beating the crap out of Cameron, and then him having a little comeback, and then losing somehow. But then they set this match so perfectly. Yeah, when, yeah. I agree. When Terry Snow went through the barricade. Jason. Yeah, I was like, what? what? Yeah, then it seemed like he was knocked out. He faced JC. Oh my god. It was, it was well, it was well worked. Yeah. Was. And it was well, it was well done. I'm gonna say, I think it was JC that went through the barricade. Yeah, it was. And then Terry Snow. They had a, oh, they had yeah, a yeah. good back. And forth. My apologies, Jeff. It was on JC. And then, but then when JC, I thought something else was gonna happen. Yeah. If you get what I mean. He came back and stomped the shit out of him. That's I thought someone else was gonna come and interfere. That's what I thought too. But JC got up, come back, and they destroyed him. So what are your ratings? She, that that match was five point five. I passed the scale. I don't care. It's five. <laughs> what? It's a five point five. It's a five point five, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking. Define. Um, I'm gonna give it a. A four point eight. <laughs> I'll just give it a five. You know, I'll, I'll just get. Yeah, you better. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a five because I love the way how it ended, and I was surprised that Cameron didn't win. Because when I said Lost Causes was gonna win, I just had a feeling Cameron was gonna win. But so you could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I could just see myself being wrong. But I thought it was smart. Cameron spearing JC Poland through the barricade, so he had Terry Snow. And I like that NGC gave Terry Snow that few mo that few minutes just to have a one-on-one -on -one match with Cameron, so we could see that Terry Snow is more than just like a tag team competitor sitting on the sidelines. That we know more of Terry Snow now. Like we know who yeah, I'm, I'm, we know who J sorry, we that. know who JC Poland's is from TXW, but we don't know who Terry Snow is. So I thought thought that was smart. I too. like. I like that that way they did that. It was like, okay, JC's gone. You've seen enough of JC. Let's see this other person that you don't know much of. He's new. He's new in this environment of core shows. I don't think he he's been in any other core show, has he? Mm -hmm. I, I might be wrong. Well, I don't know. It's not in my life, so yeah. Maybe has someone else. I don't know. Probably, but you know, this is a new character and this is a new person. Yep. We want to show him what what he can do in this environment, and it was really good, really well worked. Anything else you want to say about that match? I love how JC Paul just came back out and were like, <laughs> and just that's what I said when he snapped the crap out of him. Yeah, it was well edited. It was um, it give props to NGZ. Everything uh, from start to finish was well edited, very well. Until we get to the next match, because I wait, 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 wait. That what? Continue. What about the next version next CPB thing? Yeah, and I was gonna mention that, but okay. I was I was gonna mention it after. Yeah. But do you want to mention it now? Yes. It was, it was the times. Uh, there was also after this, before the main event, it was an announcement that Nick Virtue will be hosting the next yeah. CPV. Yeah, he's doing a host thing for the next CPV. Wasn't it? Which it's no remorse, I think. Uh, I have... Yeah, no remorse. Yeah. So that was interesting. I instantly thought. Before everything, I was like, oh, Nick Virtue going to NGC. Yeah, I was going to be like, yeah, but mm, not, so, not, yeah, it's not surprising. Yeah. But that that was that announcement. Very good announcement. Very surprising, to be, to be fair. But it, we're going on to the main event of the evening. The NC, NGC Championship, which was Maxwell Verdi versus ACR. Oh, the winner. Yeah, yeah okay. Yes. I Thank said you. it, I said it, it sucked my pee pee in. The winner was AC Arthurs. Now can I say something? I'm... I want to say, no, before, okay. before, this is for all the fans of NGC, including the members, I hope you guys comment down below, and just tell me, doesn't AC Arthurs and Simon sound the oh, alike? <laughs> Shut up, do not comment that, keep that to yourself. I'm gonna do it, right. if you want to. <laughs> Right. <laughs> My rating for this match was a 4.9. You did not say 5? Not a 5. That is a 5! Not a 5. No. Not a five. no. no. Do, listen, due to the fact. Due to the fact. I'm going to give you my whole thing. I'm not going to give this 
No, sorry, the NG series, uh, it's their first CPV. <laughs> the only thing that kind of blew me out of the park, really, was Shane Silver, Chris Grant, in a similar yeah. point of view. <laughs> this, I'm giving this a 4.9. Main event, these two are two of the best simmers in core, in my opinion. Yeah. The ending of the match was possibly the most unique ending. Yeah, for sure. I've, I've seen today when Verdi goes for the what was it hit? What's it? The go to sleep, but it gets countered. The way they worked that that was really good. Yeah. But again, just like Silver Grant, it peaked. It went down. It stayed at a level where you go, is anything gonna? come about it but I'm giving it a 4.9 it's nearly a 5 it is a 5 like <laughs> <laughs> that 4.9 would be 5 I'm watching <laughs> uh, but, uh, 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 it's, a, it's the Lucifer effect there we go yeah I know yeah. I was like so, I, I he caught him, him too oh. he caught him too That's he caught him he counted it he hit what's AC's finisher called uh, it's just a complete shot. Like that was it's the complete shot. It's, it's gonna be finish. called the AC finisher for now on. Well, it's gonna be called Rave Revolution or something like that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. But But that's that's the reason why. I like the match. But there were point I'll give you my 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 strategy of reviewing this after when we've said everything. Yeah. So what was your ratings for the match? Um let's see. A lot of good spots. You did. You did point out that it kind of went downhill a little bit, and then rose up. I'm still going with five. Like, I don't care. I give. I gave most matches five anyway. Um, yeah, seriously. Every single match was great, in my opinion. They tried their best. All the editing was like great, in my opinion, including the last match. I was completely wrong. I really thought he was going to lose, but AC. Pretty hard. Alright. See that? I think it is, well, it's a testament to AC's as such. I, be, I bet. I, I'd, say, I'd say loyalty to the shows he's been in. Yeah. He's been in many shows. Yeah. TXW, he was getting pushed in TXW. That's when it all started. He's, that's when it all started. He's been. And he was also loyal to that show. It's true. Never seen him deviate from shows. He was always there making logos, making. You helping out? Yeah, he even made the arenas. Yeah, I think it's I. I see the way he sims as well. It's good. He's he's the he's the face. He is face of core. Oh, as in mm. good guy of core. I didn't mean face of core. As in, uh, I mean he sims like a face you'd watch at wrestling. Yeah, like Rey Mysterio, etc. Yeah, that's what I meant. Damn it! This is why I want to sim with half the people in Xbox. <laughs> so what were you right? Uh, what was Devon's writing? Because we've had CBK writing, which is fine. Um, reason. I can't really say much about this match, so I'll have to give it a four. Reason? Don't, don't, don't run me over yet. Uh, yeah, um, the parts that I seen, I love. The only reason why I'm giving it a four is because I didn't get to watch the whole match. I had a storm, and then also I had CVs fucking cousin annoying me halfway through this so and then i had to try to watch it on youtube i finished the match and i gave it a four because again there was some spots that i seen that i really liked it's just that we were obviously looking more from the people than we saw so that's why i give it a four okay so to finish off we're gonna finish this round this up uh i'm gonna have such now your mvp of the whole CPV, be win or loss, your favourite match, match of the night, your what who would you want to see more out of? And what have you would have wanted to have seen? Jesus, that's so much stuff to say. Yeah, so, so you're starting that part. Okay. My MVP is gonna be Shortfire because he surprised me in that match a lot. Oh, shit. Sorry. But shut sure. <laughs> 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 No, but it was either, for me, whoever was going to win, it was either going to be uh, Giovanni or Storm. Yeah. That's who I thought, going in, that kind of he was going to win. Yeah. 
but he did surprise me. That's why he's got my MVP. Due to the fact that he did surprise me and he was good. My match of the night isn't the international. It's of course Shane Silver, Chris Graham. Yeah. Because it's I think uh, Verdi put it in the comments on the YouTube re-upload. If someone wants to learn how to sim, watch that match because it is. It's a template for people. Uh, who I want to see more of is Lost Causes. A lot. I want to see who they go after. I want to see who want who they go after next, or if they continue that feud with Bash. Oh yeah. By the way, I have to just start cutting you off here too. Um, Define did say also in the live. Um, you think that Lost Causes is similar to the Shield, <laughs> which obviously makes sense because they're a group of guys that it, that you don't really know. Well, maybe JC Collins, because, you know, he was from TXW. And then there's Terry Snow. But then, yet, they make it seem like they were part of the the fans and the crowd. And they just, like, ambushed people. So, it's kind of interesting. I, I just see what happened. Continue. And I, what I wanted to have seen from the the whole resurgence, what I would have wanted added was a tag match of some, some kind. Oh, yeah. Because it kind of lacked that, <coughs> ta that I don't know how to put it. You know, you've got really good tag teams. You've got Screech and the News. You've got yeah, well, Barn the uh, Barnet, and I forgot his other name. I'm terrible, sorry. Actually, yeah, yeah. You've got the Bears. It's kind of bears. And you've got the Redneck guys, haven't you? Oh, the one that looks like Brody Lee's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, I feel them. Yeah, but those guys, they weren't in there and I wanted to have seen a tag match to make it more complete. Wait, I, I love those. Overall I'm gonna give the CPV a four point five. Mm, Due to the fact Cut. this is how this is how I'm going to review these from now on. Okay. If I can watch from start to beginning without clicking the timeline it's a perfect CP version. <laughs> but there were places where I clicked to move on because it didn't grab my attention as much. As I said, matches were good, but they peaked. I know it's like it, the way they simmed, it, it peaks and it goes down. But there were moments where you're like, okay, let's do something. Okay, I'll click forward to see what's happening. No disrespect. No disrespect to anyone. Shame. Yeah, no disrespect to anyone. You're all, NGC did a great job with the CPV. They did for the time they've done, it's brilliant the way they've done it. But that's how I'm going to review them. If I click, I'm going to bunk you down, Mark, because I, I, you've got to get my grasp my attention. They did, but they didn't keep it as long as I would have liked it to. It was a great CPV overall, but that. A lot to say. <laughs> okay. So what am I supposed to say now? Yeah, yeah I'm trying to take notes. All right, yeah, I'm trying to because I can't catch up with any. All right, let's see. Um, I would have to say. Wait, so it has to be whoever wins or loses. Who was your favorite in the whole card? But um, I would have said Shane Silver, but then yet a lot of people would say that, so I'm not gonna say it. No disrespect to you, but you're great. Um, I'd say Cameron Bash. You surprised me. At the same time. And like mm -hmm. he he showed that he can put on a good match. That was amazing from what he did and how this setup was. All right, now what's the next thing I have to say? Uh, who? What was your favorite match? Match of the night. Okay, match of the night. Um, I guess I should say Grant and Silver. I really like that. It does show a way to sim for others who can't. It really helps out from <coughs> what you're trying to do. Yet. I don't want to be cocky or anything, but you know, I I, I can. <laughs> Shut up. I can. I taught you, sir. Oh, I taught you, sir. Uh, who would you want to see more of? Um, I wouldn't say. Well, from what you said, you said lost causes, which obviously we're gonna see a lot from them. Yeah. I'd say. Let's see. Hmm. One person I think I want to see the most. 
I'd say, <laughs> like, stigma, I guess. Well, there's going to be a lot for stigma, but I'm just curious how he's going to push this, because he's starting off to become a heel. Star. This is interesting, because he's never been a heel, so far as I know. Oh. Was that he when he started to be a heel yeah. in the in, a, in fam, but uh, in a different organization that, that we're not going to know. Yeah, maybe. we're. I just know. I just mentioned something. Yeah, let's not talk up. about further <laughs> stuff that happened there. Yes. I don't want shit to go down. Yes, I know. All right, all right. What's the, the next one? Uh, and what do what would you be wanted to see from NGC Resurgence? Um, in my opinion, I think this is probably one of the best um, CPVs I've seen. Like from this year, like others. They've been okay from other, you know, shows and stuff. I don't want to mention their names. They're, they're disrespected. But it really, um, this really brought up a lot of good stuff in there. It showed, it actually presented others that you rarely see from their videos. And then it shows some that are like the most common and like famous type of people on Xbox. Show what they can pull off and show how matches can be done. It's it's great. I think it was great. And your rating or the secret rating? Out of five. Out of five. Yeah. Yeah, you're lucky I'm not passing the scales. I would have said ten, but I uh, <laughs> uh, but I, I say five. I mm-hmm. that that's all I I, I. <laughs> I think we, uh, right, Devon. Okay. MVP? Um, my MVP. No. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It's gonna be Terry Snow. Reason? Because we haven't seen anything out of this guy until this pay per view. And like what I said, I think he had a lot to deliver. Really, did really well against Cameron Bash. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. Your match of the night? Do I really have to answer this right now? It's obviously the Mercury title match. That match was <laughs> off the hook. I loved it. He um, said off the hook. I am yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that match. It was one of my favorite matches. Again, like what many people said in this call slash review and in the comments, etc. It teaches you how to sim, which is something some people will need to learn how to if they want to <laughs> do certain... Uh, are you talking... Um, Really? Uh, some people have to do to, like, go places and that, but that's pretty much all I gotta say for that. Who do you want to see more of after NGC? Okay, this is actually kind of surprising. I want to see more of Damian Marasco. Hmm, the guy who jumped in, like, five seconds. <laughs> hey, 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 he wasn't on a countdown. That makes him a boss. He's like the Chuck Norris right now of NGC. Chuck Norris. I think Chuck Norris deserves stigma. What are you saying? Look at that beard. Just because of the beard? Really? Yeah. Everyone's been saying that beard. This beard. And what would have you wanted to see in Resurgence? Okay. I want to see more tag team matches for the tag team titles because I think it would have completed the show, really. It would have really just gave the show more, oh, this is a big night for it. But obviously, they didn't build that at the quick time that they could have. So, Tag Team Champions, Crown Reverse, for sure, next pay-per-view. Uh, called it. And <laughs> I would also want to see more matches. Like, not to be picky or anything, but I find there wasn't many matches for the first pay-per-view. There was five. But I think there could have just been one more extra match. Like, there was seven, including the pre No, I said there was seven overall with pre Yeah, but in the big time show, there should have been like maybe one more rival match or the tag team titles. Just mm-hmm. I thought though we we're gonna see a, like one of those things that you'd see on WWE or out of nowhere. It's like a Ryan Bros Clay match. I thought they were gonna do that with Stigma for a second. Uh, have we finished? Are we gonna wrap? Oh, uh, I have to rate it. Oh yeah, what was your rating, Zara? Uh, my rate of the CPV was. 5 out of 5 reasons because I didn't get to do what Simon did and skip anything because I was watching the live stream. Wait a minute, this went off the scale, you ass. Like, you think I didn't notice? I said 5 out of 5. You better. I you said 5.5. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. I, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, guys, but 
that I think that was the advantage for me. I didn't watch stream stream because it was like late for me. So I, I think Karen Bash watched it on YouTube. I think I think if I was at the if I was at the stream, I would have felt a bit more. I don't know, but anyway, that, that was my ratings. So do you want me to wrap up? Oh, one thing also I want to say from NGC is. I love that they signed guys in that you know and that you don't know of. Like, we didn't know who Terry Snow was. I didn't know who freaking Dominic King was or Dez. Well, I knew a bit about Dez Holly, but I love that they signed people that you know or don't know about. It's okay, final word. Alright. Everything wrapped up nicely into that CPV. All the setups. The way the match was um, shown, at least they actually put the match card right. Like, I think it would have been best to actually add in a tag team match or like a tag title or something like that. Or they could have done like even before, like way before uh, a tournament, like a tag tournament. Yeah, to yeah, like, yeah. like I've never seen that before, and that'd be kind of cool if they thought of that. Overall, this was nice. I'm just gonna say, well done to NGC, everyone who worked on it, for getting it out that quickly. You know, they did weekly, was it weekly episodes or fortnightly episodes? No, I think it weekly. Yeah, I was like, weekly yeah. episodes, and from, you know, f as they said, it was from TXW, and then they made NGC, and now it's such the most one of the most consistent sh core shows on on YouTube. I'm just gonna say congratulations for that. Very well done show, very well edited, very done every well just presented. Make sure everyone you subscribe to NGCHD if you haven't already. And subscribe to us. And rate because the shit out of that like button. <laughs> right? And then subscribe in the comment button, maybe the watch later button. <laughs> so I've been Simon Cross. That's been Define and CBK. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, Arthur's and Simon are brothers. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>